this part of the walk, I'm gonna be very careful, is kind of crazy. Welcome to Tiny Epics. In this video, I'm taking you on a hike to the summit of Mount Zeus, located on the Greek island of Naxos. We'll go to the very top of this epic mythological mountain, step inside Zeus's childhood cave, try to decipher some ancient Greek engraved on a giant stone, and experience a few surprises along the way. Just left the village of Philoti behind, and I'll soon come to the Aria Springs, and then from there we'll walk to the cave and then up to the top, the highest point of the Cycladic Islands, known as Mount Zas or Mount Zeus. So let's go. Most people drive close to the entrance of the Aria Spring and walk up Mount Zeus from there, but I decided to walk all the way from the village of Filoti, which made my trip much more strenuous. But on the way to the spring, I passed some beautiful things I would have otherwise missed. And after almost an hour of walking, we're just about to arrive at our first stop, Aria Spring. This little oasis is a natural spring, and its cool, crystal clear water flows here year-round. From personal experience, I can say the water tasted pure and refreshing. But check out the sign posted here. Drinking water. Any other use is forbidden. Hmm. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Like, what else have people been caught doing with the water? Wait, I don't think I want to know. And this is the proper entrance, the beginning of the hike to the summit of Mount Zass. Here we go. I have to confess, I'm a little bit anxious to hike to the top of that, but uh, we'll see how it goes. See the Manopati, the foot trails leading towards the mountain. The climb's gonna get a little more rugged as we get closer to the top, to the summit of Mount Zass. But so far, very pleasant walk. So, you can see here the proper trail ends here and the real hiking begins now. Having lived in big cities all my life, I was mesmerized by the expansive beauty of this part of the island. With no car or building in sight, I felt wonderfully alone in this vast landscape, though I did finally run into a few other travelers when I got to the cave. Got some fellow travelers here. Whoops. Making their way into the cave of Zeus. So, now in the cave of Zeus. I'm gonna give the headlamp to my fellow travelers here. Let them walk around. Say hi, everybody. Hello. Hey. So if you come to Naxos and you take the hike up to Mount Zeus or just to the cave, which is about halfway up to the summit, you have to stop by this incredible cave and bring a headlamp, especially one that does this. It cost me 20 bucks on Amazon. <laughs> Well worth it, well worth it. Been hiking for about an hour and a half now. You can see in the background, it goes quite deep in the distance. I took a walk back there. It's very slippery, there's bats. I'm not going any further, but uh, just wanted to show you this amazing cave. Very exciting, a little scary, but very exciting. Woo! It said that Zeus was born actually on Crete, if I remember my Greek mythology correctly but that he spent part of his youth in some versions of his myth uh, here on the island of Naxos and in this cave. Whether it was a cave on Crete or Naxos or both, the point is that Zeus was hidden from his father Cronus, who, by the way, had tried to devour Zeus when he was just a baby. But after waiting in the darkness, a time would come for Zeus to leave the cave, challenge the Titans, overthrow them, and take his place on Mount Olympus as king of all gods. So I just left the cave, right? There was also a group of tourists. And I come over here, I take a photo, I look at some of the graffiti on the wall here, the carvings, and then I look down and see this. 
The part I didn't capture is that in my surprise I tripped and almost fell on some big jagged stones. A tourist I had just met was a bit concerned that I wanted to explore the cave on my own and told me to yell in case anything happened. Well, funnily enough, I did yell, but it seems no one heard me anyway. It gave me goosebumps too because it looked like a sacrifice left for Zeus in front of his cave. Not too far from the site, I also came across an ancient Greek inscription on a giant stone that reads, Oros Dios Milosio. It's a little easier to see in this photo. The carving was made in the 4th century BC, and the words mean something like Mountain of Zeus, Protector of Flocks. In the ancient world, there once stood a sanctuary right here on this very spot, a sacred place for the farmers and shepherds of the area. He may not have as many worshippers these days, but it seems Zeus's flocks are still here roaming the land, as I came across several of these inquisitive little creatures during my hike. All right, that was really fun. We are back in the world of the living, in the sunshine, and that's where we came from. And we're gonna go all the way up to the top. You can't see it here, but I, after I leave the cave, I take a left and then head up to the summit of Mount Zeus. Just take a look at this view, guys. I'm gonna be very careful. Most of the way up to the summit of Mount Zeus, I don't think I have too much longer to go. Left the cave behind and now just enjoying the view. You can see where I came from. Got some hikers on their way up. Pretty insane. This part of the walk, I'm gonna be very careful, is kind of crazy. At this point, the trail became noticeably more steep, the path less defined, and the trail I took required scrambling up some boulders from time to time. So a good fitness level and a decent pair of hiking boots is definitely recommended. It's a long way to the bottom. Here I am looking rather tiny compared to Zeus's mountain. I took a break here to fly the drone around so I could give you all some nice dramatic shots. Still have a little bit to go before we reach the summit of Mount Zeus, but we're well on our way, close to the top. I lost my shirt somewhere along the way. I didn't lose it, but I took it off because it is so warm this time of year. It's only early April, but I was baking a little bit in the long sleeve shirt that I brought. Anyway, I am going to be careful as I do this, but it could be fun to record myself going up. You know what? I think I'll turn it off now. <laughs> and finally, as promised, welcome to the summit of Mount Zeus the highest peak in all of Greece's Cycladic Islands. I made it, it's quite a hike. If you come to Naxos, you have to do it. Standing at 1,000 meters tall, on a clear day you can see the deep blue Aegean Sea and many of the surrounding Cycladic Islands dotted around Naxos. But today we have to settle for this rather mystical shroud of silvery light that blankets the sea. One more mythological legend to share. Some say that it was right here on this mountaintop that an eagle gave Zeus his famous power of thunder, a power he would later use to defeat his father Cronus to become the ruler of all gods. 
My visit felt very complete when I got to the top of this mountain and saw what looked to be two eagles, the animal most often associated with Zeus, soaring right above me. Each time I visit Greece, I notice this peculiar way that mythology and reality often overlap, and how the gods of old spring suddenly to life at any given moment. Anyway, I digress. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and want to see more, be sure to take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. Thanks so much for watching.